Congressman Pence, are you satisfied with how the Republican presidential field is shaping up? Well, uh, I, let, you know, let me be candid with you and tell you that I, I was disappointed uh, that uh, Governor Mitch Daniels um, uh, chose not to enter the field. I, I, uh, but I not only respect his decision, but I admire uh, his willingness to put his family first. Uh, and to um, um, uh, to make make those priorities real uh, in his life. I know he knows he did in his heart did did the right thing, and I'm sure it was the right thing for him. But when you look at what he's been willing to do and has done in the state of Indiana, uh, a state where I'm I'm aspiring to and, and seeking to succeed him as governor. Yeah, 2012. Uh, he he basically inherited a state that was a microcosm of of our national government. Indiana had run seven consecutive years of deficits, had seven hundred million dollars in debt, and and under Mitch Daniels as governor, without raising taxes, in fact they cut taxes, they squared the books in four years. We're back in the black. They've become the fiscal envy. Right, of the but country. he's not running. I mean, this is all great, and I'm I'm yeah. glad for Indiana. I love well, Indiana. I, I love I'm the just, people of Indiana. Oh, it's just not working. But we're not we're not we don't have him running. Well, yeah, and that that accounts for my disappointment, but I'm also proud of the job he's done. Mm -hmm. I think now the challenge is for those that are in the field and those that may get in the field yet. So you didn't answer uh, the question. Are you satisfied with the field as it is? I love you, but you're not getting away with that answer. Go ahead. Well, I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm I'm watching and listening and learning to see how these candidates develop and and see how they come forward. I think that the field will likely get larger. Uh, and I think the candidates that are in the field are, are going to uh, have an opportunity now to step up and give voice to an unapologetic, broad, mainstream, conservative agenda. And, and that's, what, uh, you know, that's what this Hoosier's looking for in whoever the man or woman would be that I would support, is I want, I want someone who is um, uh, unapologetic in their commitment to common sense, broad, mainstream, conservative values. And so uh, I, I, I believe take we'll that sort as, that no. out. I believe we'll find that candidate. Okay, so no. The answer is the answer is no. You're not you're not satisfied with it. Mike, I've known you for so long, you know, I can just tease you. So no. No, no, no. Uh Congressman, I just got an uh an email last night from a very close friend of mine in Texas yeah. Yeah. who is uh you might even know him, but he's he's uh he's very politically plugged in. I can't say more, otherwise I'll, everyone will know who I'm talking about. Okay. He said he said that in a matter of days he expects Rick Perry to announce that he's running for president. Would that surprise you, the governor of well, Texas? Well, I, I think uh, I think Governor Perry has done a great job in Texas. Um, I I uh, I think there's been a lot of talk about that over the years. I, he's he's eschewed that uh, recently, but um, I think he would uh, I think he would be a great competitor in the field. Uh, and I you know and I think you know the water's warm. There's others that could get in. I think uh, you know that that the the important thing is that we. Um, that that we uh, continue to stand unapologetically for the broad mainstream conservative values uh, that still need uh, a candidate, that meant though, the right? modern uh, National Republican Party. Right. Well, we 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 still need a candidate, and now yeah. that you're not running, you do you that broke my heart that you weren't running. I can't go back to this. I, I go back to the same point uh, that Mike <laughs> Pence should have been running for president. I've been saying this for weeks now, but uh, what are you, are you already uh, you're already underway though in the campaign for governor, right? Yeah, well, number one, thanks. Thanks for your esteem. I always tell people my only ambition is to be esteemed by people that I esteem, and so your Aww. encouragement means a lot. But, yeah, but you know, our, uh, my, we, we announced a couple of weeks ago I'm a candidate yep. for governor of the state of Indiana. My heart is in Indiana. My only ambition now is to have the opportunity to build an even better Indiana um, in uh, uh, beginning in the year 2013, and, uh, uh, but I appreciate win. your confidence. No, you're going you're gonna to win, and Mike Pence is not satisfied with the Republican field. That's Sarah Palin bought a house in Arizona. I don't know what that means, but maybe John McCain just had an extra lot to sell. I don't know, but she bought a house in Arizona. And just question mark about whether she'll run. Michelle Bachman's going to announce soon. And Congressman Mike Pence, we love having you on, and uh, and keep it up. And just uh, I think I hope all of you watch Netanyahu, and from it, uh, from that speech, we were reminded about what moves people. In America, and in talking about not being unapologetic, he certainly uh, he certainly never is. And Mike, we appreciate it so much. You take care of yourself. Thanks, Laura. Great to be on. All right, Congressman Mike Pence, soon to be, of course, right around the corner, the governor of Indiana.